welcome today guys it's another how-to video on how to make your own elaichi powder or cardamom powder now everybody has their own way of doing this but i'm going to show you the way that we make it in trinidad so here i have one bottle which is 1.75 ounces of cardamom seeds you can find these at any supermarket out here in the u.s Publix, food town winn dixie any supermarket you name it you can find this even whole foods so all you need to make this you'll need a heavy bottom pan and you need a heavy bottom pan because if you were to use something that's very thin you're going to burn the seeds really quickly so all you have to do is pour your seeds into your pan now i just want to touch on a couple of things some people like taking the seeds out of the pod and if you wanted to do that you can so if you wanted a more potent elaichi, what I would suggest you do is after roasting, put it between two pieces of cloth, crush it, get the seeds out, process the seeds in your spice blender and then you use that. But today as I said, I'm going to show you guys doing it with the pods. So I'm going to place this on the stove and I'm going to toast it very lightly. You want to put up your pan on medium low heat you want these elaichi pods to take its time and toast you don't want them to burn so just keep stirring it ever so often it's going to smell very fragrant i say for about 15 minutes i'm going to toast these four it's already five minutes into the patching process and the kitchen is smelling very fragrant with these cardamom pods when the seeds are finished patching, set this aside and allow it to cool down completely before you could go ahead and grind it because you don't want this to sweat and to have moisture in the powder. Okay, now that the seeds have cooled down, I'm going to put them in my spice grinder. Now I'm just going to cover this and blend it until it's a very, very fine powder. Oh! Guys, if you have a mortar and pestle, like that granite mortar and pestle that I gave you the review for, you can use that. That's how fine you want it to be. You want it to be very, very fine, like powder. So to store this, you'll store it in an airtight container. And if you wanted to know recipes to make with this, I will leave some end cards for you all. A couple of them would be Parasad, Kurma, Burfi, Rascala, a lot of Indian desserts and delicacies. So thank you all so much for watching another one of my how-to video. And I will see you all another day with another one of my recipes. Enjoy!